Now we are going to talk about database management system. So database is nothing but it contains interrelated data that means DBMS contains information about a particular enterprise. So what does that mean? It contains a collection of interrelated data. Along with this data, what else will be there in DBMS is set of programs to access the data. So along with data, there will be some programs also in order to access that interrelated data. And this DBMS is going to provide an environment that is both convenient and efficient to be used by the user and now we move to the database applications so where we generally use these uh, concepts of database storing the data in the database and the different applications to access the data whenever the need arises so we go we are going to focus now different applications of this database the first application is we use the database applications in banking sector like uh, for uh, maintaining the customer details for maintaining the records of crediting and debiting of a specific account for all transactions in the banking we are going to use the database applications only and the second place where we use this is in airlines so in airlines we use uh, the reservations and schedules everything can be maintained in a database so here also we are going to use dbms concepts and in universities almost in every uh, section or a department we are going to maintain the database so here we have just presented uh, only two that is uh, uh, for registration of all the student details at one place and how the grades are given to the students and maintaining all the uh, marks and grades of the student for all these purposes we are going to use a database and in sales department also we use the database applications in order to maintain customer details product details purchase details so all these details can be maintained in a database and in online retailer concepts also we use databases what for we use a database means in order to maintain all the customer details and maintain their order trackings and uh, what customers have purchased the contents based on those contents we can also maintain the customerized recommendations so for all these purposes we are going to use the database in all online retail works also and in manufacturing also we are going to use the database in order to maintain the production details in inventory order details and supply chain details and all and in human resources also we use databases in order to maintain employee records and what all the um, salaries of the employees and what all the tax deductions they are approaching all these uh, things can be maintained in a database this all comes under human resource sector and finally in one word we can say databases touches almost all aspects of our lives so these are only a specific applications which we have projected where we are going to use the databases